afraid of the dark? Are you scared? <laughs> Oh yeah. Man, this is not sponsored. I am not affiliated with Bud Light whatsoever. But my dudes, stop drinking White Claw. Gain your manhood back. Drink one of these, it's the same exact thing. And they're tasty. Mm. We ready. What's going on beautiful people? I am the Grand Master and I also go by d -Ray, and I am your coach of the San Diego Snugglers and this is going to be an epic bout between us and the... Oh, he doesn't have his team name on his logo. The Lit Noons. Oh no, wait. I need to give this man the respect he deserves. Hold on. I know he's the Lit Noons. I just don't know his team name. Wait, wait. I don't want to do it to him. I don't want to do it to him. Wait a second, guys. Wait a second. Rosters. He is... His team name is the Penn State Litany Lanoons. So shout out to you. If you guys are excited for this matchup, do me a massive favor and shadow claw that thumbs up button. And if you're new, por favor, hit the subscribe button. Turn on post notifications, hit the bell button so you guys get notified every single time I post a new video. And as you can probably tell, we got some beautiful new lighting. Right? Before we had a night... <laughs> Before we were using a desk lamp and we put a fucking napkin in front of it to make sure that it filters the light correctly. But as you can see through my uh, glasses, it's a, it's a ring light. Our first ring light broke. It was a lemon. It just stopped working. It was weird. But now we have a new one and now I'm very excited for it. I thought I'd point that out. So hopefully I don't look too blanco. I'm a white Latino. So, you know, it is what it is. Another housekeeping thing. Guys, if you guys haven't found out or you don't know or you haven't seen it on Twitter just yet we have a brand new discord server called the Grand Masters Sanctuary it'll be the first link down in the description below everybody is welcome whether if you love Pokemon whether if you love Fortnite whatever games that you love it is an amazing community full of amazing people there's a lot of people in there now there's polls of the day where we discuss random things we have different chats to talk about different games. We run speed tours, Pokemon speed tours. If you love speed tours, head down to the description, hop into the sanctuary. You will be welcomed with open arms. So with that out the way, let's just hop into the matchup. Before we hop into the game, we're gonna go over my man's team. If you guys would like to scoot over to the battle, I'll leave a link right over here, not a link. I'll leave a, a timestamp right there in post-production so you guys can skip ahead. Um, but for those who want to find out what we're going to bring, why we're going to bring it, he has a G-Max Grimmsnarl, made known and famous by Lord Envy himself, as well as Pokemon MD. This thing is an absolute threat. Ghost and Fairy type Mon, uh, his G-Max move, secondary effect, makes me drowsy. Just like Yawn, so that could be kind of a pain in the ass to deal with. Jirachi, I love Jirachi. Steel and Psychic type Pokemon, very versatile. Mon can be run Scarf. Serene Grace is nothing to scoff at. Iron Heads are 60% chances to flinch. We do not want that to happen. And as well as Zen Headbutt, so he's got dual stabs to flinch me down. It is a flinch god. I think it's better than Togekiss, and that's saying a lot to me, and I love Togekiss. He's got a Keldeal, a very threatening water and fighting type Pokemon. One of the Swords of Justice uh, can be run special or physical if he's a man. Um, <laughs> but uh, special is usually the way, or a Spear of Focus Blast, called Hydro Pump, things of that nature. Secret Sword, I think is the name? Secret Sword? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I think this is only a form of hazard removal. Yes. Flygon. Flygon is his levitating dragon and ground type Pokemon. Gets access to um, U-Turn, the dragon moves, dragon claw, outrage, earthquake. It could be run special. A lot of good special coverage, but it is better when it's run physical in my opinion. But it is his only removal, his only form of hazard. So that's something to keep in mind. Roserade, very good grass and uh, poison type Pokemon. Gets access to spikes and toxic spikes. Hits like a truck, base 125 special attack. Uh, Rhyperior. Very, as Milan would say in my front office, this thing is a god. G A W D. A god. With solid rock, it's able to reduce super effective damage, which is four times super effective against, uh, or su four times, four times weak. Words are tough today. To water and grass, but it's mitigated a little bit by the solid rock, so good Pokemon. Hits like an absolute truck, could be very bulky. Uh, rock polish sets, weakness policy sets, all very valid. He's got. One of two, one of, he's got two of them, but he's got an evolution. 
Jolteon, very fast, got a big nerf, losing hidden power, but it still gets Shadow Ball. Volt Switch, Thunderbolt, things like that could be really, really annoying. Uh, Passamian, very good, very good fighting type Pokemon with the access to the Defiant, so we don't have to, we, we don't want to have that. So he may actually want to bring that because of Quillfish, but we'll see. We will see. Um, Nine Tails, so Nine Tails is a good, I love, I love the Nine Tails. Uh, one of my favorite Pokemon in Generation 7, hadn't had the opportunity to use in Gen 8. Gets access to Snow Warning, which basically brings up the Hail. Gets access to Aurora Veil, Blizzard, Moonblast, Freeze Dry, things like that. He's got a Flareon, very decent fire type Pokemon. It's able to Wish Protect. Um, it does have access to Guts, so with Toxic Orb, that could be a thing. He has Palpitoad, which is actually becoming kind of popular recently. I've been seeing Palpitoad a little bit more often. It's the pre-evolution to Seismitoad, um, so it can be pretty bulky. It doesn't have access to Recovery, but it can run Rest Sleep Talk sets. Uh, it gets access to Rocks, so with Eviolite, it could be pretty thick. But we'll see how he wants to run it. So, the team that we decided to bring, the first Pokemon that we're going to bring is going to be one of our brand new recruits freshly traded off. We have G-Max Sandaconda. So, Sandaconda's coming this week with Leftovers, a very generic set, but it does pretty good work this, this game. Leftovers, our HP is very, very, very easy. 252 in HP, 252 in Spideth. Hear me out with Shed Skin, and we're running it with Earthquake, Rest, Glare, and Coil. We want to glare as much as we possibly can. He doesn't bring, I don't think he brings Jolteon. I really truly think he doesn't bring Jolteon. So we're going to try to paralyze his entire, entire team, including Rhyperior, and including um, the uh, Flygon. So they're ground types that are not immune to glare, so they can get paralyzed. So that's the idea behind that. We can set up a Coil on uh, Jirachi if he doesn't have Ice Punch, and we can set up a coil onto the uh, G-Max uh, uh, Grim Snarl for the most part, and with um, Flygon, but we'll see depending on his coverage, right? And then Rest is there for longevity, we have a 30% chance to uh, wake up with our uh, Shed Skin, so either way it's going to be two turns, or it could be one turn if we can get that 30% chance at the end of uh, the turn for Shed Skin. Earthquake is there for Stab, we absolutely get walled, bye. Flygon. So we want to paralyze it, get out. So that is the idea behind our Santa Conda this week. So shout out to you. Welcome to the team. Next Pokemon is our second recruit. We have Quillfish. Quillfish is Liquidation, Ice Beam, Thunder Wave, and Spikes. We have our second way to be able to paralyze stuff because we have another member of the team that is going to want to get that extra speed boost and just wreak havoc. And you'll see that in a second. Liquidation is there for Sabin to hit the very the vast majority of his entire team. Ice Beam is there for a lead. If he brings flying on we don't kill it but we do more than half and that's going to be amazing chip for the rest of the team thunder wave is there again to paralyze stuff uh spikes is there for our hazards this week um the ev spread that we are running is going to be so yes we're running a jolly nature um and we are running a hold on hold on hold on hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. 252 in hp 36 in defense 220 in uh, speed and the jolly nature like i said um, even though it does reduce the um, Ice Beam, but the idea is mostly just to hit Ice Beam with the Flygon. It does hit um, the um, Rose Raid, but it's mostly for Flygon. Intimidate, gotta be careful with it if it does bring the Passimian. But it's good to Intimidate the Flygon, to Intimidate literally his entire team aside from Keldeo and from Rose Raid. From what I think he's gonna bring, right? So, and we're also running with Black Sledge for the longevity of our cool fish. Shout out to Ollie from the Goons! The next Pokemon that we're bringing is going to be Zombie aka Sir Fetch running with the leak because we get a really really high crit chance. I believe it is um, We raise our crit chances by two stages. Why is that important because we are running this thing with leaf blade This is four times super effective damage against the Rhyperior plus almost a guaranteed crit I think it's like 85 to like 93% crit rate with a combination of leak and leaf blade So that is gonna oko any variant of uh, Rhyperior first impression is there to be able to hit the um, vast majority of his team Jirachi Grimmsnarl, Roserade, right? That's the big ones. Um, we can also use it for um, priority in case our Mon that's in front of us is chipped down. Substitute is in case I'm able to force a switch, that way I can get behind a sub and do more damage. Close combat hits like an absolute truck. This Pokemon gets access to Scrappy, which means I can hit anything. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. But he doesn't have a ghost, so that doesn't really matter. But um, yeah, that is gonna be the Surfetch this week that is the surfetch this week um sorry I just gotta i just got a dm i will get back to you soon brother okay cool so the next pokemon that we are going to bring is going to be celebi aka ollie 
Ollie is coming with Natural Cure, obviously because it's the only ability that it can get. And then Celebi is running 168 in HP, 4 in defense, 84 in special attack, and 252 in speed running the Timid Nature with the Tanga Berry because he has a lot of U-Turners. He also gets uh, Megahorn on his Keldeo and uh, Megahorn on his Rhyperior. We're able to, uh, not from Rhyperior, because I'm not really going to want to come into Rhyperior on a possible Megahorn, but I do have to keep in mind he may be running that, but it's mostly for the U-turns from the Jirachi and from the Flygon. And it's there for the Keldeo in case he doesn't bring Megahorn, but we're going to be running this thing with Giga Drain, Psychic, Earth Power, and Nasty Plot. This is going to be our main win con. If we can set up a Nasty Plot, um, it wrecks his entire team. Giga Drain is there for the Keldeo. It hits the Flygon. It hits the um, Rhyperior four times super effective. Psychic is there for Keldeo as well. It's also there to hit super effective damage on the Roserade. Earth Power hits Rhyperior. Earth Power hits Jirachi. Um, Earth Power also hits Grimstone if I want to do that. Um, if anything else on his team comes, I can also hit Psychic on the Passamian. I can also hit Earth Power on the uh, on the Jolteon, but I do have to watch out for Shadow Ball, um, etc, etc, etc. I don't think the Pokemon on the bench come. Um, so yeah, we want to set up a Nasty Plot and win, basically. So the next Pokemon that we're going to be bringing is going to be Zero Aura, the White Zero Aura. Shout out to the Albina Zero Aura. <laughs> uh, we have uh, Albino. I'm so used to saying OG Albina. That's my good friend. Plasma Fist, Fire Punch, Play Rough, and Volt Switch. We're running this thing with Assault Vest. We want to be able to bring it in on Keldeo. We want to bring it in on a special Jirachi. We want to bring it in on Roserade and just wreak absolute havoc. And it kind of helps us out a little bit if he is a special Grim Snarl. So we're running four attacks on this thing with the EV spread of 252 in HP, Adamant, 64 in HP, 84 in speed death, and 108 in speed, basically outspeeding the Keldeo by one point. That is the idea behind that. So yeah, this is going to be our cleaner. Shout out to... Iron, Zero Aura, Brain Fart, for just a second, pause. Ah, yes sir, next Pokemon we have, last Pokemon we have, Starfish! Uh, Starfish is coming this week with, um, I totally just erased that, that's not good. Alright, Mandibuzz, Mandibuzz is a very straightforward set because this is going to be our physical wall. We're running Overcoat because in case he does bring the, um, Nine tails, so that way we're not able. So we are. So basically, so we can. Two reasons, right? Number one, immune to chip damage from the hill. Number two, I can switch it in on Roserade pretty much always in case he wants to go for Sleep Powder. We don't really want to take a Sludge Bomb, but in case he wants to go for Sleep Powder spam, this is one Pokemon that we can switch into and be immune to those. So that could be pretty cool. Um, also, it's there to deal with. Uh, what do I have it to deal with? Roserade. Was it Roserade? I think it was. Roserade. Passimian. Yeah. Can't remember off the top of my head. Anyway, Falpa is there to hit the it's very physically offensive Pokemon. If he brings Drought, she hits that. If, uh, hits the uh, Flygon and hits the Rhyperior. Braybird is there for the uh, Roserade, Roost, and Toxic. I built this team a couple days ago, so. Um, yeah, Toxic is there to be able to wear down some of his stuff that he wants to switch in. Roost is there for longevity, and we're running this thing with the Rocky Helmet in case he wants to start U-turning around. That could be annoying. Uh, it's also there to get chip damage on the Jirachi because if he's physical, everything is basically going to be touching us, so that's going to be pretty good. As well as um, being able to wear down the Grim Snarl when it's not G-Max, right? So that way if he has Sucker Punch, if he's got uh, Spirit Break, if he's got uh, Darkest Lariat, and things like that. So that could be pretty clutch. That could be pretty, pretty clutch. So that is going to be the team. We're going to get connected with um, Nebris right now. Nebris is the coach of uh, the team that we're playing. And um, yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. We're going to get connected. I'm going to take a couple more sips of my cider. Not my cider. My seltzer. And uh, we'll see you guys over in the battle. <laughs> For those of you who decided to skip the team builder, I still love you. But welcome. To week number, I don't even know, of the IBL <laughs> against Nebris and his, uh, hold up. Bro, I'm so sorry. Penn State Litany Litnoons. I really hope I said that correctly. Litany Litnoons. So, uh, the team that I think is gonna bring is right up over here. Um, I think he brings Grimmsnarl, Jirachi, Keldeo, uh, Flygon, Roserade, and, uh, Rhyperior. So, uh, our team is right above us. Out on land, uno, cinco, uno. All right, cool. Uh, we are bringing our G Max Sandaconda with leftovers, coil, glare, rest, and earthquake. We have our cool fish with uh, thunder wave, liquidation, ice beam, 
spikes. And we have our super strong Sir Fetched. Close combat. Wow. Way to know your team, D-Ray. Uh, <laughs> Close combat, leaf play, first impression substitute. We have our Celebi with Kika Drain, Psychic, Earth Power, Nasty Plot. We have our Zero Aura with Plasma Fist, Fire Punch, Play Rough, Volt Switch. And our, excuse me, Mandibuzz with Foul Play, Brave Bird, Roost, and Toxic. So, uh, we are playing in the San Diego Gas Lamp today. The dark corridors of the San Diego Gas Lamp. If you guys have not been out to America's finest city, I highly encourage you to do so. It is a fun time out here. Right now the weather is like 83 degrees, cold air, sunny, it's warm sun, cold air, it's good times. Nice and warm at the beach, nice and warm at the trails. Today we actually filmed a, uh, a vlog for our vlog channel, so if you guys are not subscribed to Daniel and Summer Vlogs, I'll leave a link down in the description below. And if you did not catch it in the beginning of the video, if you guys are interested in joining and coming into the Grandmaster's Sanctuary that is in our, that's our new Discord server. It is an amazing community. I would love to have you. You'll be welcome with open arms. We're just waiting for Nebris to get us connected. Oh, he just DM'd me. He said, hmm. What you mean, hmm? What's up? Uh-oh. Do we have trouble in paradise? Just DM me. I don't know. I'm resending the battle request. Okay. I'm um, waiting to connect. All right. Let's just hope everything goes right. <laughs> let's hope everything goes good. Um. But yeah. Shout out to my man for having two evolutions, bro. That's pretty crazy. I mean, Flareon's a pretty good tier tier five Pokemon, in my opinion. In most situations, in some situations. Be nice if it got like better. If, if it got like. I don't know. I don't even know what to justify it with. I'm stuck on end ending communication screen. What? Alright, guys. Well, I'm gonna get him all situated so we can get connected and um, we will be right back. I'll cut right to when we get to team preview. Alright, guys. So we are finally connected. Everything is all set. He was just having a little bit of troubles with. Uh, the server on his end, which is completely fine. It's what we gotta deal with with the land timer this generation. Rest in peace, 60 minute timer. Game Freak. Hear my prayer. Please bring it back. Please. Let's get connected. Alright, let's see what he decided to bring. What do you got, mans? What you got, my mans? So, he brings Jolteon. Okay. He does not bring Grimmsnarl, Jirachi, Keldeo. Roserade. You didn't bring Roserade? I'm actually very surprised you didn't bring Roserade. Cool. Uh, we have to be a little bit more careful with this thing now with our Quillfish. But for the most part, that is uh, pretty good for us. We got it about 90% correct. Flareon, you, I'm glad you're not here. Very happy. I can intimidate as free as I possibly, as free as, free as I want. All right. What do we decide to leave with? Is that everything right? Grimmsnarl, Jirachi, Keldeo, Superior. Flying on Jolteon. Yep. Cool. All right. So, uh, I think I can pretty much. Uh, I think he wants to leave with Flygon, either Flygon or with Jolteon. And if he leaves with Jolteon, um, I can just bring a Sandaconda. That's not a big deal. What the? So I'm going to go ahead and lead with Ollie. Pretty safe lead on my part. If he decides to lead with the um, Jolteon again, I can just bring a Sandaconda. That's not a big deal. We're very spadef. Fully speed F actually, but let's get it popping. San Diego Snugglers, the Penn State Litany Linoons. Got it. IBL. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Let's get it. All right. Take a sip of my drink. Mm. Welcome to the gas line, baby. We here. We in the ghost gym. This is an interesting lead. Are you special? Are you special? I kind of want to see what he wants to do. I don't really fear him going for uh, Iron Head, honestly. I really truly don't. Cool fish. Are you special, Jirachi? With Thunderbolt. We're pretty bulky though, so I kind of want to see what he wants to do. I'm going to go ahead. Actually, you know what? I'm going to T-Wave. I'm going to T-Wave. Zen Headbutt? Okay. 
I should be doing all too much. That's half. That's fine. Don't flinch me. Be like that sometimes. That's a bad start. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I could have switched out to Manda Buzz, but you know it is what it is. This man's making all the reads right now. This man is making all the reads. How much do we take from a Shadow Ball with Zero Aura? From a Jolteon. Jolteon. Uh, how much do I take from a Shadow Ball from you, friend, from Jolteon? I'm gonna... 30%. That's not that bad. Bring in Zero Aura. That's from a Choice Specs Jolteon. If it's not Choice Specs, then it is a lot less. But if he does 30% to me, then he's Choice Specs. Sick. Now we finally get so now we finally get that initiative. He got some good damage off on Quillfish, and that is very, very unfortunate. Uh, what do you decide to bring in on this thing? What do you bring in on this thing? Um, I kind of want to go for a playoff. Playoff seems like a pretty good play. Or should we go for a fire punch? Playoff seems pretty cool. Free damage on whatever he wants to bring in. Stays in. That does more than half. Sweet. Shadow Ball. But he's not specs, so it should be doing nothing. Sick. And his life orb. It still did that much. Um, I think I'm gonna go for fire punch this turn. I'm gonna go for fire punch. If he gives me Jirachi, let's see. So with Jirachi, he went for his Zen headbutt and then he dipped. Are you choice carved? Switch to Jirachi. Switch to Jirachi. He's probably like, why do I outspeed you? <sighs> so, it's probably calculating the fact that I am assault vested. Give me Jirachi. Pong troll, what is that? Good play. Good play. Burn? Imagine? That would suck for him. Alright, uh, I'm obviously gonna switch. <laughs> I'm obviously gonna switch. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and. Oh, what does he wanna do? Earthquake? Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. What is the play here? I think we're bringing Starfish. Starfish? Right, period. Right, period. Let's call it OU Stealth Rock. We're level 50. Then we're gonna bring in Mandibuzz. He made some pretty good reads in the beginning. Kudos to you, Stone Edge. Miss. Nope. That did more than I was comfortable with. Alright. Um, I, what do I want to do here? I want to roost. I'm gonna roost. We gotta speed this thing. He has to hit another one. But we're gonna roost. It's making good reads. Good reads. I had to go for that play though. I had to go for that play. Alright. Foul play does no damage to you. Which is unfortunate. But... If we can go for a roost and then maybe if he misses a stone edge, I'm asking for some RNG. RNG hacks gods, please do me a favor and make him miss the stone edge. We will live this hit if he hits it. He hits two stone edges in a row. That is 168 to that. Okay, so we got a high roll the first time. So I have no reason to not go ahead and roost again. He can bring in his Jolteon, that is fine. I don't care. Uh, I want to get my I want to get my health back on my Mandibus. We roost again. If he misses, I'm gonna go for Toxic. Please miss. Earthquake. That's a good play. This is, does even less though, that's fine. All right, so he doesn't kill me with a Stone Edge here. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go for Toxic now. Good stuff. Good play by my opponent. All right, Star. Let's get it. I'm gonna go for Toxic. Really? Is this how it's gonna be? <laughs> oh, what a joke! He brings in. Oh, he stays in. That's so stupid. I'm so pissed off about that. 
So pissed off about that. Stone Edge. He hits it again. He hits all his Stone Edges. That's fine, it is what it is. We have to deal with it. We needed to get this damage, very, very important. Rhyperior, Rhyperior kills Mandibuzz. That's important. All right, cool, so this is what we do now. Do we set up? Nope. Hmm. Is now the time where we're being a zombie? I think it is. We're gonna bring a zombie. Here's the thing, right? For whatever reason, the calc is fucking up right now. Way to switch in on this. I am going to go for a sub. Yes, sir. We're gonna go for a sub. We're gonna put some damage off on him. His uh, Rhyperior still serves a really great purpose. So, he stays in like a man. Like a man. You know Stone Edge? Earthquake. Like a man. Like an absolute man. Alright. Let's see. How much damage do I do to you? Rhyperior, oh you stealth rock, you're at level 50. 89, there you are, you're in range now. Uh, I'm gonna go for a close combat. It is free damage on whatever he decides to bring in. This is dead. Oh my god. What? What? What is happening in this game? I should have gone for Relief Blade. Wow, what is happening in this game? I'm just getting so unlucky. Wow, sir. Okay. That's fine. Sir fetched. Wow. Right. Kills. Sir, that's so unfortunate. Sir fat. He was... This is... So stupid. Alright. Um. I am fucking flabbergasted. Honestly. Fucking flabbergasted. Honestly. All right, um, now is time where we, what? Bring in Zero Aura? <sighs> I don't even know how to do Bring Zero Aura. Gosh, darn it, now we can Volsage freely. A superior kills Sir Fetch. I'm so pissed off. You know, it is what it is. Um, superior dies to Toxic from Mandibuzz. Oh, I'm so pissed off about that one. Big oof. We're putting a little bit of a predicament here. I'm pissed off. This is gonna do more than half. Please, you turn. Earthquake. Are you choice card? Alright. Okay. <sighs> so, what we do? I am going to glare. Yes, I'm gonna glare. So, he's not choice card. That's good. That's good to know. So I'm shed skin. So I'm not really too concerned about this. If we are super clutch, then we can remove this right away. Shed skin? Yes, sir. Got some stuff going our way, guys. Got some stuff going our way. <laughs> Gotta shake it off and find a way to win. That's so annoying. All right, uh, I think now we actually go for coil, to be honest. I'm gonna go for Coil. If he stays in, hopefully he gets fully paired from all this bad RNG that we're getting. He made a good play by staying with Rhyperior. He probably EV'd for that, but he lived from 80%, dude. That's crazy. 
absolutely bonkers. U turn. Okay, that's fine. So we're at 106. Or there's Anaconda. 106. Keldeo. Let's see. Keldeo. Let's just say you are choice specs. I doubt your choice specs, honestly. That's Keldeo. Yep. Alright. It kind of sucks that we have to use our G Max now, honestly, but you know, it is what it is. Max Quick is going to be doing a shit ton to you. So let's go ahead and uh, let's do that. Hydro Pump does 70 to 82%. He, he has to hit a Hydro Pump, but I've noticed that once you Gigant Max, then it's pretty much almost guaranteed that you hit a move. I mean, it's so big. The fucking Pokemon's huge, so. We should live a hit. If he's not Choice Specs, then we live a hit. Yeah, we live a hit. Gold. Don't burn me. Good stuff. Sick. All right, how much residual damage is this gonna do? So he's trapped in here, right? So our play now is to uh, max guard. He should die to the next one. All right, that's our play 100% of the time. We are going to max guard. He cannot hit us with anything, and uh, he dies next turn. So Sandaconda is gonna get a kill. Good stuff. Sandaconda kills. Sand kind of kills. What was your name? Keldeo? Keldeo with sand tomb damage. Sick. Alrighty. It's looking good, guys. We brought this up. We brought we brought this back kind of, right? Kind of. Kind of. So you're not dead. But you're dead. Alright, so now we still have to deal with the. We still have to deal with the um. What's cool is I think that. Quillfish could kind of deal with the, um, this is, this is here. That's interesting. All right. I'm going to go for a Sandblast. Uh, maybe he Gigantamaxes and he tries to max guard and then he mitigates my G max maybe. But I mean, we're so low health. It's, it is what it is at this point. We have to move our guys off the layout, so we lost Surfetched. We should not have lost Surfetched, guys. Surfetched was needed. I should have Leaf Bladed there. Just hit whatever is in front of you. That was my fault. That was my bad. That was a misplay, and it's probably going to cost me the game, but you know, it is what it is. You live and you learn, to be honest. So I don't think that this guy can kill us if, we're, if he's offensive. I mean, if he's, um, if he's, uh, physically offensive. Grim Snarl. But we outspeed. We're plus one attack. That's good damage. It's almost half. And then he's gonna get some residual damage from the sand from the sand too. G Max snooze. Do we live? Please live. Oh, that would have been so clutch. That would have been so so clutch. Uh Grim. Kills Conda. All right. Uh, I think our play here is to actually go for so zero aura, right? Let's see. Zero aura. How much do you do to um? How much do you do to this thing with the plasma fist? Not kill deal. Grim snarl. Grim. We got some time. Low fifty. Uh. Plasma Fist, Play Rough, Play Rough has a chance to kill, Plasma Fist has a chance to kill. Uh, I think, no, this is actually not Dynamax though. Dynamax it, no, we don't kill it. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring in Ollie and we're gonna drop his attack. If he's especially offensive, then, you know, it is what it is. But, let's see what we could do. We're gonna Intimidate it. Minus one attack. We're about the same on what we see here, so I'm actually going to go for damage and go for liquidation. I'm gonna go for liquidation. 
That is the damage we need for Zero Aura. That is awesome. Alright, that's fine. Grim kills. Grim kills. Quailfish. Alright, cool. So now Zero Aura comes in and kills it. Or should we bring in this? No. Bring in Zero Aura. We play smart. Plasma Fist kills. Plasma Fist does 26 to 31%. That looks about right. And these max HP. Alright, cool. Take a little bit of rocks damage. And we go for Plasma Fist. If he switches out to uh, the Black Arm. Cool, got him. Zera kills. All right, so we lost our Conda, we lost our Quillfish, so we have Zero Aura and we have that left. All right. I'm still kind of worried that the uh, Jirachi is Choice Scarfed, and if it brings Jirachi in now, then he's officially Choice Scarfed. And the thing is, is do we live a hit at this range? He's Choice Scarfed. So what is our play here? Right? I think we have to go for a fire punch. Jirachi, choice scarfed. Let's see. Plasma Fist does more. No, it's actually the same. Do we have a chance to burn? I am going to fire punch. Yeah, I'm a fire punch. <sighs> All right. We live. That was a crit. My goodness gracious, dude. It's a good thing we went for fire punch because then we can kill this and so now. Zera kills Jolt. Alright, so Jolteon is down. We have the Flygon that is paralyzed, so Jirachi outspeeds that. Um, he has U-turn on both, so I can only use the Tenga Berry for one of these. He has to lock himself into a move here. I have to stay in and I have to go for Fire Punch. He's gonna kill me here though, so um, Jirachi kills... Jirachi kills Zero Aura. Alright. Alright. Here's our play. So this is unfortunate the way that this is gonna have to come up. We have to we have to we have to hope for a full para and we have to go for a nasty plot. Unfortunate that this is the way we have to play it. But, you know, it is what it is. They both have U-turn, so this is what we gotta do. We have to go for we have to go for nasty plot. If he gets a full para, we win the game. If he gets a full para, we win the game. Come on. So he pops our Tenga Berry. Dang it! Alright. That's a bummer. GG's to Nebris. Uh we misplayed when we were front in front of the uh the um freaking thing <sighs> we couldn't have killed the we couldn't have killed the um could have we killed it i'm just gonna calca just in case it made me feel better what's your fucking name what the hell is that pokemon's name flygon i'm so pissed off flygon showdown usage all right level 50 i couldn't have killed it with anything player out no this is not your right pokemon yeah, I don't kill it with anything. GG's, my dude, GG's. Here's the thing, right? If he had gotten a full para, we could have killed the, uh, we could have killed the Flygon and then use our Tanga Berry this turn and then kill the Jirachi. But it is what it is, we did not get the full para. He hit every single one of his stone edges. It's just an unlucky game. It is what it is. Um, good luck, good luck moving forward to my opponent. Um, the season's just been that way. My whole Generation 8's kind of just been this way. But, like the laws of nature, uh, the, t the scale has to tip. It can't always be bad, so hopefully things will turn around for us. 
in this next uh, few coming weeks and in the next season of this new league that is coming pretty soon. So guys, if you guys are excited for <laughs> the future, leave a, leave a like down below. And um, I'm going to get the heck up out of here. Have a great rest of your night. And above all else, be nice. Peace.